Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back to another weekly forecast episode. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, January 8th until January uh, 14th. So we're in the second week of January already, second week of 2017. So what we'll do is we'll pull a card for each day and we will figure out just what to expect uh, for that week. Uh, this will be for everyone, so this is the general overtones uh, in the world, as it were. Um, for the week of the uh, January 8th. So let's uh, shuffle the deck here. I know it doesn't it doesn't look like we're shuffling, but we are. Something's happening. Okay, that's probably pretty good. So we've got uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and hopefully we have enough room on this table. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Whoops. Ah, that happens all too often. Let's see how close we can get there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'll move them over a bit just so that doesn't quite get caught in that whatever that is, that box over there. Okay, that's it. So this is the week. Uh, let's start on Sunday the 8th. Queen of Water. A uh, good day to spend in kind of a quiet reflection. Um, maybe some good dreams. Uh, if you do have any interesting dreams, take note of those. They might uh, fix a few problems you've been having. Maybe you'll get some new inspiration to start a new uh, artistic project. Uh, and really just kind of a day to go with the flow and uh, feel things out rather than uh, burn hot, uh, burn uh, too, too warm. You don't want to push things too much. You don't want to force things too much. You don't want to think about things too much. Yeah, just kind of relax and uh, see what bubbles up. Uh, shouldn't be a trouble. That'll be the natural mood of the day anyways. Kind of a quiet day. Nothing to worry about. Uh, yeah, nothing bad on Sunday. A nice kind of restful day, a reflective day. Monday, not good. <laughs> Monday, this comes to an end. and uh, Well... Uh, something else might come to an end as well. Um, maybe not a bad thing. Maybe maybe uh, something something crappy at work comes to an end. Some uh, annoying thing comes to an end. Something that needed to come to an end may come to an end. And that can uh, generate new growth and a new beginning. So, yeah, uh, probably not a, not a pleasant day. I mean, when is it? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the ninth looking like a... Kind of a tough one, probably. Uncomfortable, certainly, but uh, ultimately uh, this card is, you know, it's usually for the best, so uh, not a bad thing. And uh, again, it might be something that's uh, kind of crappy anyways coming to an end, coming to a kind of death, so uh, do be aware of that. Um, Monday might might be a bumpy ride, but uh, hang in there. It's, uh, it's going to be for the best. Uh, something else will be able to arise from, from the uh, absence. Of whatever it is leaves uh, and that's about it for Monday <laughs> not a fun one Tuesday the 10th uh, we have the five of swords kind of a fighty kind of day kind of a battling kind of day uh, expect some mental and uh, verbal duels um, some some combative natures may come out uh, competition certainly too uh, yeah it won't be it likely won't be <laughs> physical competition it should be a mental kind of mind games something like that uh, you may be in competition only with yourself but uh, it's likely you'll bump into some other uh, players out there so yeah be aware of that uh, there's some competition uh, there's usually no trouble uh, winning of course when this sword comes up or when this card comes up when the sword comes up um, yeah you've got a good chance at victory but uh, you know the losers aren't going to be uh, glad to have lost. They're going to be sore losers usually. So you won't be making any friends on Tuesday, but you will be winning some fights. Uh, Wednesday, we have the uh, Ace of Cups, or the Potion of Potential in, in my deck. Um, so it's kind of a good day to uh, start over. We're halfway through the week. It's a, the midpoint, so we're at the high point, I guess, of, of the week. Um, and it's a good day to... Uh, Kind of reevaluate your feelings towards things and see where you are emotionally. Uh, take stock and uh, 
start over. I think you'll probably be feeling that anyways. It's uh, kind of a wellspring, kind of a kind of a, yeah. It's a well. It's a, it's a it's a new source of water. Something new comes popping up. What is the other word for a well? That's gonna bug me. I don't know. Oh well, it's <laughs> it's a new beginning emotionally at the uh, midpoint in the week. So yeah, expect some uh, refreshment to come your way. On Wednesday, um, where are we at then? We're on Thursday. Ah, Thursday, another tough day. The tower card on Thursday, so you can expect some kind of uh, sudden strikes coming your way. Uh, perhaps bolts out of the blue. Uh, it may seem that the gods themselves have uh, sought to tore something that to tear something down. Uh, yeah, never really. It's it's uh, not a fun card, honestly. But uh, again, uh, you know, if something collapses, well, then you can rebuild it. That's the joy and the terror of uh, sand castle construction, isn't it? So um, it may be fun to build things, but you know, as we all know, things uh, must come down again. This, if whatever comes up comes down, so uh, that's probably likely to happen on Thursday. Um, and once again. It may be something crappy. Uh, maybe it's a difficult situation. Maybe that's coming down. Maybe it's just some old crap you've kept around or built up. That'll probably come down. So, might not be a bad thing. Um, of course, this card is always followed by the star, so... It's a nice kind of quiet, uh, reflective rebuilding process. It's a, it's a good one. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for any old things uh, that you do want to take down. That you Any old towers you do want to deconstruct. Good time to do it. Uh, let's get into Friday then. Jeez. Oh, I'm not liking this week. <laughs> this is going to be crappy. Uh, likely, likely. Again, these are not uh, set in stone, so make of your week what you will. Uh, there's no no obligation to uh, live by these cards, but uh, they can give you a heads up sometimes. So uh, We have the level 10 swords uh, on Friday. It's the 10 of swords. It's the... Uh, the uh, pinnacle of the suit, as it were, and it is usually the image of a person laying down with and swords in their backside. But the sun's rising. <laughs> that's nice. Uh, yeah, so that's it. The worst is over, basically. Is how we'll read this one on this particular Friday, because we've already had kind of a kind of a crappy week. It looks like the worst is over. The uh, the storm is passing and the sun will rise. However, <laughs> it's still kind of an uncomfortable spot to be in. So, uh, the sun hasn't risen yet, but it will. It's on the horizon. It's coming up. Um, and then, uh, finally, we'll end on Saturday, January 14th. Yes, that is correct. I'm looking at a calendar. So, I can confirm that that would be the 14th. Uh, we have the Apprentice Wand. So, it's the level two of wands. And level two wand. It's the two of wands. Um, and it usually indicates, um, a new enterprise. Kind of a planning phase, kind of a sending out, kind of a probing. Uh, nothing returns yet, uh, so any new projects you want to undertake or plan to undertake, good time to do it. Um, kind of a, f a fiery end of the weekend. Uh, yeah, I would suggest kind of planning and strategizing and building up something new. Uh, it looks like something has kind of been canceled throughout the week, so uh, don't be surprised if you need to come up with some last minute plans, uh, some new strategies for the next week. Uh, or wh whatever period of time you want to plan. You can plan long term with this card too, but it is the card of uh, initial f uh, releasing of force uh, towards a goal. It's a willpower card, so plenty of heat to go around there. So that's it. That's the week of uh, January 8th to the 14th. So we're going to start off Quiet Reflection. Uh, I recommend it because it looks like it's going to be kind of a turd storm throughout the week. Um, Monday, death, uh, something comes to an end. Uh, maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's something really unpleasant, who knows. But, uh, you know, get ready for that. And again, uh, you may want to put an end to something. If you've got a bad habit or some something you're not exactly proud of, you can get rid of that with ease on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, a bit of a fight, a bit of a competition. Uh, be careful that you don't uh, gloat too much in your victories. <laughs> they will come easy to you, of course. Good chance of winning, but uh, you won't make any friends if you fight too hard or underhandedly. Um, Wednesday, kind of a tipping point, kind of a midpoint, uh, the high point. 
new uh, wellspring of emotional strength, of intuition strength. Uh, dreams, again, uh, pay attention to those. Those will probably help you out uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday evening, Tuesday, daydreams, whatever. Uh, feel free to flow. It's good for you. And uh, might get you ready for Thursday. We have the tower come up, so that's going to blast things down. Uh, get ready for uh, some reconstruction <laughs> after that. Uh, Friday. Uh, the storm is over, so it's good, but uh, you may be feeling kind of pinned down, literally, <laughs> by swords. By mental swords, perhaps. Uh, yeah, tough situation, but uh, the worst is over, so that's good. And then we're going to end on the, uh, what is it, the, f what did I say? the 14th. Time to set things up and uh, look forward. Send out your plans for the future and get those moving. So that's it. That's the week. Uh, thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope this was helpful. I hope it wasn't too uh, foreboding or ominous. <laughs> Again, make your own fate. Uh, cards are generally a good way to get a little glimpse of what's coming and what may be, but we never know until we're there, so uh, make of it what you will. Anyways, guys, uh, today we use the Mystic Gate Tarot. Uh, you can pick this up. This is a real deck. It's not just a virtual one. You can pick it up in the link uh, in the whatever description below. Have fun with that. Like, subscribe, uh, share. Uh, do all the usual YouTube stuff, and I will catch you guys next week. Have a good one.